Now that my studio was bigger, richer, unstoppable, it was time to take on something huge. An epic fantasy adventure that only a studio like mine could accomplish. This is when I made Secrets of Legendaria. Oh. Why are people... <laughs> There's a lot of beer here. And partying. Has everyone gone mad? Huh. A lot of sleepless nights? Crunch? That's been a hot topic in games these past few weeks. I bet there was crunch in the studio too. I had been pushing the team really hard to finish the game, but see, I rewarded them sometimes. With alcohol? And party hats? How about money? <laughs> That's a bigger motivator. Carla and I were no longer friends. Actually, that might be putting it lightly. We hated each other. Her ego was just too big to stand in the shadow of my greatness. Stream will begin soon. Carla was the person who left the back door in Secrets of Legendaria. Yeah, she was the one who helped us skip all the bosses. Cuz, maybe she didn't agree with Lionel's thinking of what the game should be. The grind was stupid. She's right, he's wrong. There was a heated debate about which character should be the star of Secrets of Legendaria. In the end, Carla won over the studio, so we went with Chandrell. Huh, yeah, who cares what I think, right? <laughs> What's well, a group effort, right? It can't just be all what you think either. Who is your candidate? Lazarus? Nah, Chandrell. I think Chandrell would be a better choice. She's got that spunk. <laughs> I put everything into that game. I hired the best programmers, the best designers. I burned through my fortune fast. But this game was going to be epic, goddammit. I paid the biggest gaming streamer to play it live, with hundreds of thousands watching. Um, uh, hmm... No room for you, get out of here. Where is that damn mechanic? Try this. Okay. Where is the character even? Door! Oh, the door's gotta open. What is that? A phone ringing? <laughs> Yeah, you like that switch mechanic? Pretty cool, huh? You've still got it. Oh! How does it work? Hold up. Yeah, but like, what makes that different from when we didn't have that switch? Yeah, so if I do it like that... Oh, okay, there's no road here at all. Okay. Interesting. Open the door. Oh, the mechanic! Woof. Not again. I said I was done with this stuff after the last two. Hey, Irving! I don't want to be in this stupid puzzle game. And how are you holding up, Faceless Joe? Dull? I figured. I'm guessing I have to fight that slime. You'll have to solve some brilliant puzzle to open the gate. How about let's start with getting all the carrots? Well, the gate should be an entity as well, right? Could we change that here? Yup. Oh my god, why are there so many... So many of these things now? We gotta move the switch. So that you can just get out of here. Thank you. Oh, but that means we can't get over. Hmm. Oh! Oh, but it stays. Okay. Good enough for me. <laughs> Do we want to open the door again? Just to see. I'm so hyper aware that there could be secrets anywhere. Nope, nothing here. Door open. Okay. This is really cool. It's like making a little mini programming game within the game itself. I love this! Just like how I loved it in Pony Island. It makes sense that they choose me for this game. Chandrel's gone. Also Lazarus. Hmm, Valamir too. All they've got left is the town mechanic. <laughs> what about the priest? Woof, 
Here we go. Even the priest is gone, because that was one of the Space Marine guys, right? A tough slime was there. <laughs> Haven't been decompressed in a while. Cool. I've never seen you decompressed. Gonna need some spells, huh? You got it, buddy. Ooh, we got two switches. Hit one, hit all. Freaking make her OP as hell. <laughs> so we get this over with quicker. Um, Get the switch. And then... Get that. And now we're out of here. Oh, we can make hit one or hit all. Hit one for now, because there's only one. Fire missile. 150! Oh, he's hitting me for five. Whatever, we're done. <gasps> I'm out of mana, though. <laughs> Woof. That's one tough slime. I'm gonna need some more mana. Yup. Yup, you will. Friend. Enemy. Mana. Maybe that's like healing friend or something? I'm not sure right now. Hold up. Hold up. Get this over here so that we just get this locked away. We want mana, right? Mana? Where is... Wait, where's the thing I'm trying to... Just this one? Okay. Oh, but this one, hold up. This one's a little bit more difficult now, isn't it? Because I want, I want the yellow one here so that I can cross, because I can't cross without it, right? Mm-hmm. But if I want the yellow one, it means that I probably have to get back the green switch first. Also, undoing this. Oh, but that's the hook! That's a hook. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's over there now. I think we're okay. Do that. Do that. Hit me cross. Friend. Healing everybody. Mana wave. Okay. Fire missile. Rebecca, you had a name? <laughs> The stream had been going alright with the odd hitch or two, but things took a terrible turn for the worst right near the end. <laughs> it was chaos. Everything is going wrong. Whatever that is, I might need it. This? Crit boost. Oh yeah, hell, why not? Why not? Yeah, getting a streamer to promote your game? It's kind of a tough thing because... Well, if you're paying them, that's probably not as big of an issue because they're pretty much obligated to say good things about you. And it's super ironic that I'm the one talking about this of all people. But I find that if a... if an influencer says something, then that sentiment really, really easily spreads to their audience, whether the sentiment is actually founded on legitimate reasons or not. If someone is having a bad experience with a game, I don't necessarily think that it's always because the game is bad, because... What if the person playing just had a bad day that day, and they're taking it out on the game? But a lot of the people in that person's audience would probably not care about that and just be like, Oh, this game sucks. So, something to be mindful about, I guess. Okay, friend, crit boost, we want to get it over. Which means we gotta move the blue line over there so that I can... Go up? If I want to get to the blue line, it means I need the purple line. If I want the purple line, it means I gotta get rid of this guy, so put it here for now. And what we're gonna do is go over here. No, we need the- ugh, hold on. We need the green one as well. Can I do this? No. <laughs> oh, I'm losing myself here. Okay. So I think to begin with, if we want to get over to the green switch... Why do we need the green switch? <laughs> Let me start from the beginning. I'm trying to get this over here, which means I need the blue. If I want to get the blue, I need the purple. If I want to get the purple... If I want to get the purple, then I need to... Oh, that's why I needed the green. Hmm. How does that work? Can we... Yeah, we can't... Oh, no, maybe it's not as difficult as I thought it was gonna be. So we got the yellow now. We gotta get... Oh, but we can't go up here without the green. Can I use this to get the green? I sure can. 
But I gotta bring it back here. Because now I'm gonna move it over here to get the purple. Yes, and now I'm gonna get the blue. Okay, now we're gonna unhook this, and we can finally get over here. Should I try some of the bugs? Because I've been avoiding them so far. I wonder what it's like if I tried doing a bug. Probably nothing good, <laughs> to be honest. Oh. Actually didn't do anything. Even though we have it hooked, it's not like a valid ability. Oh. Huh. Okay, well, I guess I'll try doing crit boost then. We don't have to bug up our game on purpose. No. Supercharge. Blast a friendly target with energy magic to increase your crit chance by 100. Why do we need that? This tentacle's 50. Oh, but there's multiple. Okay, so in that case, let's make it so that this is hit all. Because I think that would be better in the long run. If we want that, we gotta go over here. Do that. Firestorm. Okay. Uh, maybe supercharge first. Don't kill me. Spawn of Valamir. Not Valamir himself, no. Oh, wow. Beautiful, beautiful. I don't want to die, though. How hard does he hit? Probably gonna want to change this back to hit one. Because there's only one left. Here. And then... Are we gonna be okay? Yeah, we are. We do not need to heal. Is that it then? Back to the overworld? Oh, I guess not. Secrets of Legendaria bombed. Carla had left bugs in there intentionally to sabotage me. It must have been that because everything went wrong. And everyone saw it live. The game had no hope of recouping costs, so I took funds from the severance packages and ran. Wow. I couldn't even afford my apartment anymore. I moved south to find some cheaper real estate. I didn't get the impression that Carla would sabotage you like that, though. That's just what you guess, right? We don't have proof of it? Because if she didn't care, why would she add a shortcut into the game? Living in the desert was a miserable experience. I blasted the AC all day, but I was somehow always sweating. I started working on Wasteworld here. It was supposed to be my great comeback. Oh, the tactics, the board up there. You still have a really big TV for someone who's... broke? I can't get off the couch, by the way. No. I would wake up, sit in front of my computer, and just stare at the screen with my hands beside the keyboard. After about an hour of that, I'd blow off the rest of the day playing some online game. Oh! My god. First person perspective. Sure, I'd sometimes accomplish something, but then I'd reward myself with some social media time and would wind up reading articles about myself. <sighs> they weren't kind to me. Do not do that. Nothing good can come out of Googling your own name. Ooh. Oh, because I'm in the first-person perspective right now. Does that mean I can walk? Oh my goodness. I never finished Waste World. I wanted this area of walk to reflect that experience, so I left it half-finished. That also saved me some development time. <laughs> <sighs> I'm pretty sure half of those levels were unbeatable, but I just didn't care anymore. That's why people had to make mods, because otherwise that game was too damn hard. <laughs> oh my god, hey, there's a ducky. I don't get along that well with other people. Carla wasn't even a close friend, but I think she might have been my only one. These genius auteur types seem to always not have too many friends. It's all very confusing to me right now, because I feel like... Oh. C, shift. C plus shift. M, K, mine, kill, friend. 
Oh, I don't know how much of this reflects Lionel, the, the fictional character, and how much of it reflects Daniel, the dev of this game. Can we get out over there? No. I tried pressing those combinations, by the way. Oh! Sarsaparilla! Yeah, I tried pressing this, but I don't think anything works. M, K, F... Nope. Oof. The heat of that godforsaken place. Uh, most days, it kept me inside. Oh my god. Wait, who's our enemy? <laughs> oh! Raider! Um... Let's try to get to the computer. Oh my god. Now we're playing tactics in the first person! Get close and you're in for a bruising. Oh my god. Uh... Somehow, the more I needed to finish that game, the more I avoided doing it. My parents would call every once in a while to ask how it was going, but I'd just lie. Hmm... Living up to the initial success? Kinda difficult, huh? Uh, what the heck? Oh, I was just looking at that. Shoot! Freaking crank this up! <laughs> crank this baby up! How far can we crank it up? Mm. <laughs> Wow, this can really... Oh, 106. Or 1006. So, if we want to get to it, we need the green to be on the other side. If we want the green to be on the other side... Then... Oh, yeah, we never figured out how this actually... Oh, we have to create a pathway that both of them can walk on. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, Now we need the yellow also. Okay. A little bit difficult because we have to mirror the actions on both sides. Ah! Here we go. Yeah? We did it! What? Lionel, pioneer, futurist, creator of Super Weasel Kid. Wait, so does that mean the first person perspective represents Lionel? The final straw was those idiotic modders. They took my half finished game and made a goddamn mockery of it. Aliens in a post apocalyptic Wild West. It made no sense. If I couldn't finish the game myself, I sure as hell wasn't going to let them do it for me. It makes more sense than an unfinished game, buddy. Oh dear. Don't need to think too hard. Can I get all of them? Maybe I'll wait for them to come to me, so that they can't get a hit in on me? Yeah, maybe I'll just move a little bit. The legal documents drawn up to take on those monitors really fired me up. It was just what I needed to bring those low lives to task. Those gormless basement dwellers were going to pay every attempt. He goes on like that for a while. You must be tired of hearing that voice. We're mere pawns to him. But you can change that. Listen to me. This is important. When you see a door of light, walk back to whence you came. And look to your right. Now let's see how far I can skip you forward. <laughs> and that's how I programmed the blood particles. I think it really contributed to the visceral pleasure of vicious galaxies. 
costume, making it the obvious standout in the series. My only gripe with the game was the designs of the main characters. They're too old. Everyone wanted the same boring space marines with the vicious galaxy. Don't change what's not broken, right? Should we listen to Jeremiah? So as far as I can tell, Jeremiah and Gang are the people trying to escape this world. If we listen to them, we're helping them escape. If we listen to Lionel, we're not helping them. Eventually I got my wish. There was some sort of breach within GameWorks and a lot of data was lost. I had to create a new squad of player characters from scratch after that. Hey, is it all right if we... can we adjust the volume a little bit? No, audio volume, there was only one slider. Dang it. Because uh, I can't really hear the... what he's saying anymore. Distance to objective. Yeah, let's not listen to Lionel later. Let's, uh, when we see the door of light, turn back to whence we came. And... turn right. And now we find ourselves at the climax of walk. The player has to use everything they've learned to solve the ultimate puzzle and arm the bomb. Go on. You can do it. Can I really? Can I really, really? Get rid of that. Oh, we can't get rid of it. Hold on. Is that alright? Just letting the bug be in there like that? That seems a bit... Okay. That doesn't seem good. Okay. No, oh, what? I can't reach it? Here we go. Can we get both of the bug things at the same time? Ah. Uh, hold on. Dang, I can't... I can't use this to get anything. <laughs> what can I do with this? Maybe I need to use this one first? Yeah, I got that contained. But now what? Can I just do one side? I don't think so. No. Hold up, hold up. Let's try this one again. You want to make it so that the arm can reach the bomb. That's our goal here. We can't go up here, no. Oh! Oh, we did it! We did it. And with no bugs, too. No bugs. Can we really not do the second one or the first one without bugs? I'm just trying to see here, because if we can avoid it, I'd really, really love to. But you can't! Look, there's really not that many things you can do here. You have to have the bug. Pretty much. And it's not like we can unhook it, either. Okay, number three. Oh my this goodness. This probably looks daunting. Switches, those creepy eye things, and a splitter all in one puzzle. But it's the last one. I promise. Okay, Lionel, I trust you. I trust you. Where do we even start here? Okay, we want the arm to go to the bomb. Mm -hmm. Which means we gotta get rid of this this eye thingy. Which means we would have to lock it to one of these locks. If we want to get to either of them, we need to connect the blue bridge. Which means we need to access the blue switch. To access the blue switch, it means we need to build the yellow bridge. To build the yellow bridge, it means we need to access the yellow switch. To access the yellow switch... No! I was thinking we needed to build the blue, uh, the green bridge, but no, we could... Mm, could we come over here? Yes, okay, so I got the yellow switch. <laughs> I completely forgot what I was saying earlier already. Like, why do we need this again? Because we want to access the blue switch. Okay. Can we do that here? I doubt it. No, we can't go here. It has to be mirrored. No, I think... Uh, we probably need to access the green switch. Or... Mm. Or I can just get this to come over here. Okay, that worked. Okay. Uh, I could very easily just... Do I want to lock it here? Or... Do I want to lock it here? I guess it doesn't really matter. No? 
Okay. Um. Well, now that we have that dealt with, we need to move the yellow back. Hold on. Hold on. If we want to move the yellow back, we'll have to undo this thing again. Is that possible? Because as far as I can see... Oh, hold on. Lock it here, and then maybe we'll use the arm. How about that? And then... Uh, get the blue one to come back. And then get the yellow one to come back. Get the yellow... Oh, but we need the green one to freaking... <laughs> hold on, give me the blue one back. And then, what we're gonna do is go up. To... To... Can't exactly... What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm trying to get the blue one back so that we can reach the green switch, so that we can move it back here, so that we can reach the yellow switch. <laughs> is that what I'm trying to do? I'm so confused! I don't know what I'm trying to do anymore! Oh! What did I do? I don't know, but I did it. <laughs> Wait, this one took me forever. I don't know what I did just now, but somehow it all managed to work out. The the turning point was realizing that this was also a switch. I completely didn't see this before, but uh, okay, well, whatever. <laughs> okay. Are we good? Please? Is this a, a spaceship? Uh-oh. You know, I had to lower the difficulty of that puzzle like <laughs> 10 times before the average player could solve it. But great job, you figured it out. <laughs> you win. <laughs> Even though it took forever? And that brings us to the present. Well, I should say, the near future. The other indie games coming out right now are crap, so Walk is a shoe-in for Game of the Year. This scene is a little glimpse into what's to come. You getting awards? Oh, this is the award that was there before we entered the game, remember? At the cabin. The press, the players, they all love it. The end. Thanks for playing, I guess. Um, at this point, you just have to walk toward the white door frame and the credits roll. And hey, I'm glad you turned on the developer commentary. I hope my story was as much an inspiration to you as it is to me. This is Lionel Snill, signing off. Did you get all that? All right, good. Let's get out of here. <laughs> I'm a little bit curious now. I know that we should be going back, but what would happen if I... I'm just a little bit scared here because I don't want to have to replay the whole game again. Uh, let's take a gamble here, huh? That was Lino Snell. Walk, a game by Lino Snell. Produced by Lino Snell. Graphics by Lino Snell. <laughs> is this seriously what we're gonna be seeing? Oh, producer, Lou Natas. That was the game from, yeah, GameFuna. CEO, marketing. Darsh McMillan. Localization lead. That's a lot of people. Community manager. Developer relations. GameFuna, GameFuna. Playtesters. These might be real playtesters. Because I know this game was in beta for a little bit, and people were testing it. Hey, this isn't the ending I'm looking for. Can I still go back? Created with Gameworks 5.6.6. .6. Copyright Lionel Snell in GameFuna. GameFuna. <gasps> the game closed. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's boot it back up again. Oh, thank God, it just starts me back here. And that brings us to the present. Well, I should say, the near future. The other indie games coming out right now are crap, 
so. Oh, but this is different. Oh yeah, it started me back at this place again. So I was like, oh, okay, I'll just walk there again. Oh, they really want me to... They really want me to go there, don't they? But I want the prize. The end. Thanks for playing, I guess. Um, at this point, you just have to walk toward the white door frame and the credits roll. And... Hey. <laughs> I'm glad you turned on the developer commentary. I hope my story was as much an inspiration to you as it is to me. This is Lionel Snill, signing off. Did you get all that? <laughs> so I guess what was supposed to happen was, you know, we wouldn't go into the white light, we would come here, and this would flicker. But when I turned on the game again, it started me back here, so when I reached the spot, it flickered already. Oh my god. Hey! Don't leave! Don't leave! Super Weasel Kid was not my first game, that was just mine. Count C, my first game. Oh! Developer confessionary. Did you see? It didn't say commentary. <laughs> All right. Is that a coin? <laughs> Root beer tender. Hey, this is the. Oh my God, Jeremiah. And. A whole bunch of other people? Where's my mouse even? I know there's a secret here! Remember? We saw this painting! A photo? In the inn! There's some sort of a secret in the middle section. Oh, am I like feeding the people? How do I... How do I feed the people? Oh... The janitor. Why does this game need a janitor? The beer spills? Oh! Oh! The spot in the middle there. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I'm not giving him anything. It's closing time, Reginald. Reginald, say, that can't be. It's not even dark yet. It's closing time, forever. Ah! Oh, it's the bartender! Reginald R! Lionel is releasing Super Weasel Kid. He can't have some root beer game, marring his reputation. The bartender, Reginald R. The first game. Even the bartender is one of the... You must be mistaken. Lionel loves root beer. And he loves me. Lionel wants this. I won't leave. Very well. Oh! That's how he became wheelchair bound!
It all comes full circle. You've seen it all now, haven't you? And you understand why we are gathered here. You have an important role to play in this, so I hope you are ready. They want to be free. My loyal patrons, tonight we are all killers. This is now my only way out. I'd like this to be my final KO. As per our agreement. Uh, this'll take me to Rocky, right? For Mr. Shrewd! Go on. It's your turn. Oh, they want me to put my hand there. Jeremiah, what about you? Oh! Oh! The hex has been opened! I must thank you for your help. The ritual was incomplete without a player. And I do hope you enjoy your time here at the Six Pint. Your patronage is valued highly. Oh! Now, if you'll excuse me, it's time for me to meet my maker. Oh! This is the real murder! The real murder plot! Oh! Oh my god! I don't even know what to say. Oh. Usually we're met with, you know, nice credits music and a, you know, a, a nice way to end it all, but oh. The murder plot. Irving wasn't the victim. It was Lionel the whole time. I'm guessing that was Daniel. Daniel Mullins. Oh. How do we feel about this? I don't know. We we helped the characters escape their fate. But we killed a real man. In favor of these video game characters, we killed a living person, a human. Oh my god, I don't... I don't even. Okay, this music, if you can call it that, is really creepy too. Um... I remember Pony Island had like a secret ending, right? But I don't know if we can find it. No, definitely, there was something in that root beer game. For sure. And we didn't manage to get that last soda machine either. Although, even if we did get it, it's kind of like... Oh! I just suddenly realized! Oh my god, you know how at the cabin, there were batteries! I think we were supposed to bring the battery back to behind that first soda machine that we unlocked. Because it was missing a battery, right? Oh! Um, I wonder how hard it is to go back and get that. Could I do that, or do I have to play the game again? Look at that, Unity 5.6. Very similar to Game Funa. What about the clown? Oh, she's... <laughs> the game closed again. Oh my god, this was insane! Hold up. Can we still go back in? Oh, we're back here! We're back here! Okay, that's good, that's good. Could I just take a battery and go back? Oh, okay, hold up. I might not know how to get all the secrets, but I feel like getting the... Wait, getting the battery should be something we can do. 
or not. I don't seem to be able to take it out. What the heck? Is it because I'm holding this? Put it down. I don't think we need to go to the computer again, right? That's probably gonna restart that whole segment of... of the whole first-person perspective thing. Can I put it here? What? Oh! What? What the heck? Oh! What? It's dead! What? I just saw a golden statue of myself, is that it? What? I don't- Oh my god. Yeah, I- I don't- I didn't even get to click on that or anything. That's... Yeah, I, um... I'm not sure what to say. <laughs> um, let's try putting in our coins in that machine. If we can't find all the coins, I wonder if we can, like, look up a guide or something. Because I don't think I can find all of them by myself. Okay. Oh, I'm still missing... Five coins? That's quite a bit. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure how you were supposed to figure this one out, but if you put an empty mug here, there's two coins. Maybe it's in one of these paintings, but I'm not sure like which ones exactly and where and how you would find that. Oh my goodness! Okay, so you can very faintly make out 3663 here, and apparently these wheels were... you can turn them. So, I think... I guess, uh, if, since it says three, Turn it three times. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Seriously? Oh, but after that, I think we might have enough coins now, because all we needed was five coins, right? That is so sneaky, oh my goodness. Okay, do we have enough? We do! What the heck? MC Serum. Root Beer Reggie's legs were gone. Root Beer Reggie had a pawn. He'd point his finger, and Jerry would run. Now Jeremiah was having some fun. Ah, uh, Jeremiah was the... the janitor in the Root Beer game, and Reggie, Reggie Reginald! Oh my god. Uh... Oh, I wonder if we could get a cup or something? I don't have a cup on me right now, but if I connect this... You want me to, like, bring a cup over, or...? Because I will. I will. Okay, I brought a... I brought a beer bottle thing. Do you want to, like... Do something? No, not that. Oh, I didn't even notice, but these were the mind control things. The little bugs. Holy crap. Holy crap. Well, we can turn this, but I don't... It doesn't seem to drop out anything, so, like, what do I do with this? Mm. You know, in the end, we never got a proper resolution with the whole... The Dark Clown Sado thing. Damn. Okay, well, I think that will be it for me and the Hex here. Oh, what is this? Oh! Whoa, you can skip back to whatever section you want to go to. That's pretty good, especially for finding secrets and stuff. Oh. Okay, well, in that case, you know what? You know how in the beginning I made that very silly mistake of missing the coins? Can I go back and avenge myself by doing it now? <laughs> Would that be a thing? I gotta get all the coins, okay? Initially, I just- I just walked right past the sign without looking at it. How silly. 
Oh, it turns into like a pin. That's kind of cute. Do we get anything for collecting all of this? <laughs> kind of hoping we do, but I don't know. There we go. Oh, remember how happy everything used to look? Oh, even the- ooh! Even the flower turns! <laughs> oh! There's another step here. Hold up. One, two, three! One, two, three! Oh, beautiful. Any more? Nope, that's pretty much it. Oh! Oh, he helped me out. <laughs> I just gotta collect all of these coins, okay? To make myself feel better. Wish I didn't need Mr. Shrewd's help, but hey, if you got it, just just have it. You're wearing me out, kid! Try to stay out of those spikes. Sorry, Mr. Shrewd. <laughs> oh, Mr. Shrewd died later on. Okay, Goombas. Or, uh, Grundas, excuse me. Ah, look, there's even more here! Oh! Hi there! Who are you? Oh, young weasel. You interrupted my musings. Sorry. Fear not! You are the least of my woes. My boundless wisdom wasted here. For a petty side quest. <laughs> a quest? Yes, young weasel. For coins. Bring me 50. And to you, a secret. I will reveal. You have 40 right now. Oh, well... Amazing. Now I have a reason to collect all these coins, huh? I'll be back. Just give me a sec. We're so close already. Oh, 50! There you go. Okay. Hold on, wait for me. Were you atop the hill, or where were you? Here? Yes. Hi! I got the coins! Young weasel. Then I will tell you my secret. The source of true happiness lies within. No, I cannot. Huh? I cannot simply spout nonsense as a reward. <laughs> as I was supposed to do. Here's a real secret. This game was built on the ashes of another. Alas, I have said too much. Uh, we've seen this cat genie thingy before, as, um, I think, as a first-person guy? What? Sarsparella. <laughs> that is all, young weasel. Ah, so we wouldn't have known this initially when we first found it here, but after finishing the game, you know that he's talking about the root beer game. Look at how easily we're finding secrets in this game. It's totally insane. I bet there's still so many more. But that'll be it for me and the Hex, and I don't even... I don't even know what to think about this game. It's definitely bizarre, and probably by far the most bizarre game I've played this year. I feel like it wants to say something, but I'm not quite sure what that message is. Maybe something about the relationship between the developer, the gamers, and streamers? There is a very intricate balance between all these figures here, and it's definitely really weird if you try too hard to think about it. Especially during that last section with the first-person perspective. I love the beginner's guide, but I definitely feel like this game was making fun of it. <laughs> well, it's making fun of a lot of other genres too. Parodies, I guess you can call them? All those different genres that we looked at. The um, Super Weasel Kid platformer, the first-person walking simulator, the GRPG with themes of saving the world, the fighting game, and what am I missing here? Oh, the top-down shooter in space, and the Fallout Wastelands. And then sprinkled between all of these, there's all sorts of weird segments, like how in the GRPG we had the whole streamer thing going on with the backseat gaming. Uh, I felt like that section spoke to my soul. <laughs> But yeah, it's a mishmash of all these bizarre things, and while it's not Pony Island 2, you can definitely see that it's just as weird as Pony Island, and it's definitely made by the same guy. <laughs> In a nutshell, I'm not really sure what I played, but I'm glad to have seen this, because this is unique. This is definitely one of those games that you would never see in the AAA gaming space. And for that, I'm really glad it exists. 
To quote Lionel, all the other indie games that came out this year are crap. <laughs> no, of course not, but uh, this one definitely set itself apart from pretty much everything else. <laughs> if you have any thoughts on what all of this really means, do feel free to share because I'd love to hear it and um, yeah. This was The Hex with Wellens. Thank you so much for watching me play and I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed playing it. And I will see you hopefully in another place in another time. Maybe it's not going to be Pony Island 2 or The Hex 2, but whatever this guy's making, I'm playing it. <laughs> Bye! <laughs>